make me a man who teach me how to shoot And Daisy may be how she fancy me Now I'm heading overseas Going away, going away What will all the neighbors say? Going away, going away I showed them all my medals one day See how the other Welcome to another episode of the Going Underground Sessions. On this week's show, we have two brothers all the way in Kulak, Kilmore, singer songwriters who are known these days as Mall Park. I'll give you Mark and Paul Bone, lads. Thank you, Great to see you. Good to see you. Great to have you here. Nice to see you. Great to have you here. Um, nice to I was yeah. going to say, so how does it all start with you? So how did you just get into some music? Before you were born. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, no, you came well, up screaming. Yeah, well, I probably, he probably did. I came up behind him. Oh. So I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> uh, no, it I got into it personally when I was about 15. Right. Uh, just, just, we, we, we watched Hot Pops quite a lot in there, it was cool. mm. always musical. Mm -hmm. Not to say that I was into music at that time, mm -hmm. but we played like, a lot of sports in the ground and blah blah soccer. So. But every Thursday I stopped doing what you're doing for Hot Pops. Mm -hmm. And that, but there was, it was 81? 80? 81? 81? Yeah, 79, 80. 80 yeah. yeah, the jam, uh, no, it had to be 81 because it was, it was 1980. Yeah. Right. So we fight all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but it was 1980, and yeah, we were, and we just saw the jam, you know, going on the ground, and that was it. And right. So two weeks later, I had a guitar and I haven't kicked the football since. Football man. Yeah, but he didn't play a guitar that time. So he. So I, I, I got a guitar. I bought a guitar of a friend of mine from a corner, from a fiver, right. and it was an, it was an island string. Mm -hmm. But my mate's brother played guitar, so he used to tune it for me once a week, which was great. Uh, so that was where it started. Yeah, just playing other people's stuff. Then Paul learned guitar. And then he was a big Beatles fan. So I, I, when I got the jam, he knew of the jam, so he couldn't have got me in other stuff. Mm -hmm. I bought more jam records, and then I got into the Beatles and blah, blah. And then when he started learning guitar, we started playing. So he, he heard you first, he goes, oh, look what he's doing. Yeah. Actually, you know, he didn't like it first. Uh, yes, if you was yeah, the first, first, he was just, yeah, yeah, he was crap, just yeah, being yeah. stubborn, and then he got, oh, what are you doing one day? Yeah, yeah, and then you yeah. went into a party. And it was a very funny way of learning the guitar as well, because he taught me before for our cards. Well, there you go. But uh, we used to have a little box room at home. So I'd be sitting yeah. on the bed, right, playing the cards, <laughs> and he'd be sitting up on my dresser. So right. next of all, Hit the wrong card, the foot go up, squash, that's the wrong card. So really good. Then pretty quick after that. Yeah, brilliant. But uh, yeah, anyway. no, actually, we always had a love of the Beatles anyway because yeah. we've got all our brothers and sisters and there's always music around the house. Yeah, you anyway. can hear it in these harmonies. Where did they come from? You hear the, the, the way you sing harmonies. Yeah, same, same for your ma. When any time the songs are ready, your mum always sang the harmony. Yeah. Always sang the harmony. But always sang ahead of the song. She was always well ahead of the song. She couldn't <laughs> wait, you know, but she always sang the harmonies. I see that's where we got it from because she'd always sang the harmony rather than the, the melody. Uh, but we didn't start, we played, start, it's about 81 we started playing together as a yeah. band. Um, like I played, we messed with guys around the corner, but I, I borrowed their bass guitar, Paul played guitar, and our mate Dave had drums, so we just got together and we were called Side One, mm. and we started playing, playing that's lots of That's when we started, started, started playing the series, that's when we started, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, that's when we started doing gigs, around, exactly, yeah, doing gigs. Yeah. Oh, and great, then yeah. you did the covers and then you started to go original. Yeah, it was, it was near the end of Side One. Um, Paul was writing all the songs at that stage, mm. and um, myself and Dave started getting into bands like XTC and the Smiths and mm. Julian Cope and mm. blah blah. So we kind of went separate ways, and then side one kind of dispersed, mm. and myself and Dave played other bands with Paul. hadn't done that for a long time then. And then so he's, I, yeah, he's so we got back into it. Only, only, only recently. Only a couple of years. And you saw some played X 
Hawks that members in? Yeah, that was oh, a yeah, side one. Yeah, yeah, that was the Bubbles game, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's a big mod night. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the early days, we ran a few albums as well, a few. Yeah, there was an album called Hip City Boogaloo, which was compilated. I think it was maybe five or six Dublin bands on that. Yeah. And we all had two tracks on that. Was, that was a big thing. It was great. Mm. So we, when that kind of album went on tour, we got right. some other bands. So then we started doing a small gigs with them in town and stuff. So it was great. It was a great, it was a great community back then. Yeah, yeah, band, so it was yeah, fantastic. Back then, yeah. It was great. It was great. So what has you back into it now? It's just like you, you just decided, like you know, do what you love doing, basically, isn't it? Uh, I think what happened was because we, so we haven't played together for a long, 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 mm. long, long, long. And you wouldn't think so because I played, played together. Other bands, I played other bands while yeah. Paul had not been playing. Yeah. Um, we'll and a couple of years ago, yeah. 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 <laughs> All boys still Paul. <laughs> yeah. And it was a single alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, <laughs> but what happened then was so, yeah, so we got we, asked. <laughs> yeah, no shit. So we got asked to do. A, a friend of ours asked, "Would you play some covers down in Parnells?" And we said, "Oh yeah, we'll, we'll try it." So we got together and we started doing some rehearsals. And we got to the second rehearsal. We kind of went, "No, this is shit." So we no, just didn't like playing covers. And we start playing. We start doing. We, I bought some stuff to record and yeah. then we said, well, we have our own songs. I said, what happened to the doing the rehearsing with the covers right. for a while. And then yeah. we went for a point one night and I said, I knew the song. And I said, what's the yeah. story? What's up? Is that? And I said, no, the song, but what's the story? And all this coming out and playing the covers. And I said, well, what do you want to do? And I said, like, there's a few songs there anyway. At that stage, he was starting to get into the yeah, really and original. And he said, well, yeah, 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 ye
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never all, use, all the users, Facebook, uh, YouTube, but most of our stuff is up on YouTube and SoundCloud. I got it in, um, all cards badge and all. That's for our album Storybooks, which is available on, on uh, iTunes and stuff. There you right? go, Mall Park and all. So Mall Park, listen, I have to ask you, where does the name Mall Park come from? Take ask him. Well, well, ask him. Right, I think I might know Mark and Paul. Yeah, so he's left out. You just have to explain to me. He, he came up with it. Come on. No, no, no. He, he, he did, yeah, because you can't be honest with that. That's crap. I feel it's kind of got mashed. It's not that right. bad. It's not right. kind of groovy. No, I, I like that. You know? I like the straight way. Tell me the story behind it. I love to come on. Uh, no, well, it was basically just like we'd say, uh, put the two names, Paul, uh, Paul and Mark, and originally it was going to be like uh, more. Uh, Paul Meyer cut it, but mm. but years ago there's a cigarette brand called uh, Paul Mom. Yeah. And what so the way, yeah, it was, was too close to that just didn't sound a bit crap in it. So it was just Mom. Yeah, that sounds yeah, great. So we'll go with that. Yeah. 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 Took me a while, but yeah. now I kind of like yeah, it. I yeah, I like it. it. I like it. When you told me, when you told me the story behind it, I got used to it straight away. Yeah. 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 Listen, lads, thanks very much for coming in. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. I've been trying to get you in for ages, but you eventually came. Yeah, busy boys, yeah. Pleasure, pleasure. I look forward to hearing this again. Thanks for being there. I've been seeing a lot of you. I'm thanks to your crew. That's why they were all fantastic, was it? Thanks very much. Listen, that was Mall Park and um, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. They're gonna fit finish with such a great song for the time we're living in. The song they're gonna finish with is called Beautiful Day. Enjoy the song. Bye now. Hey!